Hello, my name is Soheb Katariwala, and I am an open search specialist solutions architect with AWS. Today I'll show you how to set up and use the open search reporting CLI for Amazon Open Search Service to send scheduled emails using a Lambda function. The open search reporting CLI is a quick way to be able to download reports and email them without using the open search dashboard. You can use any of the following arguments with the reporting CLI. You can pass in the URL for the visualization or the dashboard or the report. You can do authentication using basic authentication or SAML or any of the options listed here. You can pass in your credentials. You can specify specific formats for the reports. Here you can specify the transport mechanism such as SES for a simple email service or SMTP and all the other options that you see listed here. Before we get started, I'll walk you through what the solution architecture looks like. First, I will create a Docker file that has the instructions on installing the Open Search Reporting CLI. Then I will update the Docker image to Amazon Elastic Container Registry. And then I'll create a Lambda function using that image in the Elastic Container Registry. The Lambda function will use the reporting CLI to connect to and download the Open Search dashboard or report. Then it'll use Amazon Simple Email Service to send that dashboard as an attachment in an email to your desired email recipients. I also have an accompanying article on repost.aws with the same steps that you can use to follow along. The link is in the description below. I'll start off by going to the AWS console and clicking on the Cloud Shell logo to open up the Cloud Shell terminal. Once here, you'll need to set up a few prerequisites. So first, I will update the packages on Cloud Shell. So I'll run sudo yum update. This will take a few minutes to update the packages. Once that's done, I will install Docker so that I can create a Docker image that has instructions on installing the reporting CLI on my Docker container. Now that Docker is installed, I will create my Docker file. Use the instructions from step five in my repost.aws article to create the Docker file. Once the Docker file is saved, I will upload it to Cloud Shell. To do that in Cloud Shell, go to Actions, Upload File, and then select the Docker file and click Open. Now I'll confirm that the Docker file is uploaded successfully. I do an LS and I can see the Docker file is here. Now I will use Elastic Container Registry or ECR to create a private repository. I can either do that through the AWS console, or I can do it through the command line interface or CLI. I'm going to show you how to do that through the AWS console. So I'll search for Elastic Container Registry in my AWS search bar, and I'll open that in a new tab. I will now click on Create Repository, and I'll name it Open Search Reporting CLI. It is now created. I will now push the container image from the Docker file into the new ECR repository that I just created. To do this, I'll click on the repository, I'll click on view push commands, and now I'm going to copy and run all four of these commands sequentially. Let's copy the first one and run that in Cloud Shell. You should see login succeeded response. Next, I'm going to run the second command to build the Docker image. This will take a couple of minutes to run. Once that's completed, I can go to the next command. And after that, I'll run the final one to push the Docker image to my ECR repository. Now that it's pushed, I will refresh my repository and we'll see that the latest image is there. Now I'm going to create a Lambda function from my Docker image in my uh, ECR repository. I'll search for Lambda from my AWS search bar and open Lambda in a new tab. I will go to create function, then click on container image as the option to create a function. For the name of the function, I'll call it OS reporting CLI email. 
under container image URI, I'll browse for images and I'll select my repository from the drop down and then I'll select the latest image which I just created in the prior step. I'll leave x86 underscore 64 as my architecture and leave everything as it is and create the function. Now that my function is created, I will modify a few configuration settings. So I'll click on configuration. I'll go to general configuration and click edit. I'm going to increase my memory from 128 megabytes to at least 1024 megabytes. Then I'll increase my timeout from three seconds to five minutes and I'll click save. Now I need to give permissions for this Lambda function to be able to use simple email service or SES to send emails. As a note, you don't have to use SES to send emails. You can also use simple mail transfer protocol or SMTP. But for this demo, I'm going to use SES. So I'll click on permissions. I'll click on the IAM role associated with the Lambda function. This will open a new tab with the Identity and Access Management or IAM uh, Service Console. I'll click on Add Permissions and I will create an inline policy. By default, this will take me to the visual editor, but I will change that to the JSON policy editor. I'm going to add permissions to allow SES send email and SES send raw email for all resources. I'll click next and give my policy a name and click on create policy. Now the Lambda function has the appropriate permissions for Amazon simple email service. Next, I need to set up simple email service. I will search for SES in the AWS search bar and click on Amazon simple email service. Now I will navigate to identities and click on create identity. Now I'll click on email address as the identity type and I'll type my own email address here as the sender's email address. This will send a verification link to my email that uh, I will use to verify my email address. Then I'll click on create identity. You will now see that the identity status is pending verification. I've now received a verification email. I'll click on that link in the email to verify my email address. Great, my email address is now verified. I can go back to the identity in Amazon SES and see that my identity status is changed to verified. Now that our setup is done, let's use the Lambda function to email a test report. I will navigate back to my Lambda function and click on the test tab and create a new event and give it a name for the event JSON. Copy the example from my repost.aws article and replace the email addresses for the from and the two values with your own. You can test with the existing URL for a public open search dashboard or replace with your own private dashboard. For this example, I'm using a public dashboard, which you can see here. Back on the Lambda function test tab, I'll click test to execute the Lambda function. After a few seconds, I can see that the function has completed successfully. In the log output, I can see that the open search reporting CLI was able to fetch the input arguments that we passed into the Lambda function. It was able to connect to the URL and it was able to load the page and download the page successfully. And then it was able to send that report in an email. So now I will check my email and I can see I just received an email with the subject line that matches the line that I passed into the Lambda function. The body of the email has an image of the report page 
and a link to open it in open search dashboards. I also have a PDF attachment of the dashboard in my email. This concludes the demonstration of how to set up and use the open search reporting CLI to send scheduled emails using a Lambda function. For more details, check out the accompanying article on repost.aws, which is in the description below. If you have any questions, you can post them as a comment on the repost.aws article. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.